I just uh, wrapped up the North Dakota leg, man. What were your thoughts, Isaac? Yeah, it was great. Uh, beautiful, uh, consistent amount of birds. It, it was definitely like eye-opening because it wasn't the picture of North Dakota I had. I agree. Just like, man, this is beautiful. We was... dropped down into those badlands and then just... It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, met a lot of great people. Definitely do it again. Kicking off Montana, though, at this point, if you look around, it's like, oh. <laughs> you know, the badlands in North Dakota were absolutely amazing. And then it's like from one absolutely amazing right into another absolutely amazing. That's what makes the West and just upland hunting such a such an amazing experience. Is it's just so different mm -hmm. from place to place and bird to bird. and But yet there's similarities and, and you unload the same dogs and, and the you know, and, and, and you do the same thing. and. Uh, sometimes they humble you, and then sometimes they, they make you proud. But uh, what a trip so far. Uh, stoked up about Montana. Excited to see where we go. So some of us broke off to set up camp. Uh, and then we've got um, Matt and Mitch and Andrew. Uh, those guys peeled off as we were coming across. And uh, I just got a call, actually. Matt's got a lemon of sage grouse already in the bag, and then they're chasing some sharp tail right now. So it sounds like they're... They're doing well, and you know, while they play, we're, we're here doing the work. I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind of how it works, you know, it seems like. So, you know, you have a gear company, and, and then you end up doing the work so other people can have fun. So. <laughs> All adventures come with setbacks, and this trip was no different. Little by little, things started to go off the rails. Wow. Go down, go down damn it. Wow. Go down. How did we both just whiff on that? We hit it. I definitely saw. Gorgeous bird. Wingspan, that's why I was telling you how big they are. Stellar. It's just like, gosh. Look at that. Explain what we're, what we're, uh... <laughs> Thought I put in the truck in my pocket, and I'm not quite sure. That's how it fell out of the truck, and thankfully I connected it to Addison's Bluetooth on the truck, so while I was walking the side of the road, Jake was slowly driving. Just gonna add this waypoint real quick. The truck <laughs> connected, and we're like, oh, it's within this area. Well, 
we have had a <clears throat> we've had a malfunction. So we're figuring out how to run four gunners in a standard truck <laughs> and get all of his stuff into my truck. Tow truck's coming, going to the dealer. We're gonna figure it out though. And uh, make it work one way or another. Here. How do you feel about all this? Me? Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Let the adventure continue. Let's go. Well, so, just for everybody's view and pleasure, this is the kind of stuff that happens to me and Heath every time we get together. So, what you're seeing here is about. 30 some years of this. <laughs> yep. This is part for the course. Yeah, that, that doubles the cheers now. Here's the deal though. We got birds, man. We got birds. We got birds. Alright? <laughs> so, there's a few more in here. Might be the most expensive bird, but <laughs> there's a bird. Alright, the show must go on. You know what they say? Bad things come in threes. Missing birds, lost phones, and broken down trucks completed the trifecta for the crew. With these hiccups, groups began to break off and explore other areas of Montana before heading out to Wyoming for the final leg of the trip. Someplace where I can hammock camp. I got a hammock too. I got one too. We ready can, to go. You you are at that place. I know, but I'm playing. <laughs> We're doing, we're doing the Hampton Inn tonight. So that's that's the night for In us. Billings? Okay. Or not, no, no not Billings, but Buffalo. Buffalo. Sometimes it takes a hunting trip to realize life's greatest adventures are born from our greatest setbacks. <laughs> 